Keeping your stationary computer clean can actually improve the performance. You can call me Kali. I've been working with computers and electronics for over 15 years. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the outside and the inside of your stationary computer. And I'm actually super excited about this video because I've been using it as an excuse not to clean my computer. <laughs> It's just so much more fun to clean a really dirty comp, so, you know, be ready for some dust clouds. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> if you still have a running warranty on your computer, I don't recommend you to open it unless you know that that's not going to break the warranty, but just make sure, double check that. The tools and equipment I'm using in this video, I'll be listing down below or similar to the ones that I'm using. But basically, we want to use the window cleaner with some water, the lint-free rag to just wipe it off. And the screwdriver might be needed in some cases. I don't need it for my computer. I have those big bolt looking things, so I don't need it, but you might need one. I'm also using this little nifty tool that I ended up naming Fast Air because it's fast air. But you can also use compressed air in a can. I would recommend that you buy two or three of them because they tend to get really cold after use and that's just super uncomfortable. So just buy a couple of them so you can switch between them when you're using them. I'm also using my vacuum cleaner, but I'm not touching the computer with the vacuum cleaner. I'm just catching all of the nice dust clouds flying around with it. <laughs> a couple of side notes. Obviously, we want to turn off the computer and unplug the cables. I know that's a hassle, but you really want to clean the outlets on the back of the computer as well. So I'd really recommend that you do that. Another thing that I'm always using when I'm working with any sort of electronics is an ESD mat. Uh, basically, I want to have the same charge as the computer. So me and the computer just on the same wavelength. <laughs> I've also added a couple of chapters in case you want to re-watch any part of this video. But basically, you just want to start off by turning it off, unplug the cables and put it on your ESD mat. If you have one, I would recommend it. But if you don't, don't okay. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like and a comment down below. I usually do gaming content on this channel, but keeping your computer clean is definitely gaming related. Cleaning the outside of your stationary computer is not really a big deal. I usually use a mixture of water and a little bit of a window cleaner. And you can use this mixture to clean your TV, your screens, keyboard, mouse, phones, mouse pads, I was gonna say, but I meant uh, iPads. <laughs> I managed to spill something on my desk at some point and it sort of splattered a little bit onto my computer so I'm taking my time to just wipe it all off. Make sure it's nice and clean with this little uh, window cleaner mixture that we made earlier. Always spray into the rag and not directly onto your electronics and then use the rag to just wipe it all off. So as I'm going to be demonstrating here, you usually have a couple of filters on the outside of your computer. These ones, you don't really have an excuse. You should really be cleaning these more often. As you can see, they are a lovely coat of what the hell dust and uh, we're just wiping that off. It's not attached to the computer, so you're fine. You can just vacuum it or wipe it. And then I'm just putting it to the side. Now we're going to the fun part where we're opening up the computer and this is going to look a little bit different on every computer. Mine, as you can see, you have this glass side so it's really easy to just unscrew those little babies and uh, remove it. But some chassis have these screws in the back and on the other side of my computer that's exactly the case so I will be demonstrating it later. This is the point where you might need a screwdriver. Sometimes you just end up screwing those little babies too hard and you don't want to hurt your fingers. But in any case, I didn't need it myself, so here we go. As you can see, I'm just holding the nozzle to the vacuum cleaner a little nice far away from the actual computer. And I'm using my little nifty fast air to just blow everything out. I don't want the fans to move. I know it looks super funny, it sounds super funny, but don't do it because you're actually just sort of wearing them out. There are several different fans, usually around the stationary computer, sometimes up, front, down and the back. And just make sure to just clean all of those spaces. The ones in the front tend to be forgotten, so just make sure that they get a little bit of a love as well. 
if you are to remove the front panel, I'm gonna demonstrate it here on my computer. There's a couple of cables that runs from the motherboard to the front panel because of the USB ports that I have in the front. Just make sure not to jank it too hard. I'm just opening it up just enough so I can get it uh, clean. And here I'm demonstrating how to open up the other sides. Then as you can see, the screws are in the back, like I mentioned before. So we're just gonna remove them and slide the panel to the side. And here we are, we're just gonna clean this part as well. I am only very carefully wiping down on top of this compartment, which is my power supply, but I'm making sure not to touch any sensitive cables or cards or anything like that. If you have a very steady hand, it would also be okay to wipe down the cables in the case, but I usually don't do that during a regular maintenance. Just using the compressed air is more than enough. All right, and when all of this is done, we're gonna put back everything. And if you just keep maintaining the filters on top and the bottom of the chassis, you don't really need to clean it all that often. I mean, yeah, you should. You should it shouldn't get this dirty again. <laughs> I'm the horrible example you should not be following, all right? I just I just really needed to demonstrate it in this video. <laughs> and there we are. You just have to plug in all of the cables and enjoy your clean computer until you have to clean it again, you know. I'll see you guys next time.